Mrs. McGowan. Are grassroots advocacy groups, like misrepresentation, the best way of dealing with negative body image and lack of empower empowerment for women and for teens? Thank you. Well, I think they're certainly an effective way, and I hope everybody agrees that um, these advocacy organizations are doing a lot. They're educating us, and education is key, and they're helping us get involved and realize our collective power. We see the numbers and we, we do see the changes that we're making, whether it's from getting a billboard taken down or getting someone voted out of office or um, targeting a corporation and their horrible practices. I, I was proud last year to help misrepresentation um, get GoDaddy to, to, um, to change. They're still a horrible company. I hope nobody here <laughs> uses them, but they're a little bit better. They're advertising, we'll see at the Super Bowl this year. Um, but uh, so they've done a good job. There are a lot of other strategies too. They were most mentioned in the movie. And these strategies, I think, in conjunction with this kind of grassroots ad advocacy is great. Um, media literacy is the key. And I'm a big advocate of media literacy starting with the youngest kids. I would even start it in preschool. But kindergarten would be a great first place to start. And I think all of us need to become advocates for that. Um, as parents, grandparents, anybody in the community to um, advocate for gender-focused media literacy. And um, this will empower today's students to become tomorrow's involved citizens and advocates. Um, women's leadership uh, programs in colleges and universities, it would be great to expand on those and have the women, for the women to have first-hand opportunities to work with women leaders in business and government, politics, law, the arts, advocacy, um, leadering, leadership and mentoring programs in schools. Hunter, this is a great program you're doing. If Girl Scouts can work with other younger Girl Scouts, parents working with their kids, older siblings working with young, younger siblings, that is a wonderful thing because even brief workshops like that can have a huge, you know this with your work with media literacy and the Girl Scouts, they are so effective at countering harmful media messages about unrealistic body image or unhealthy eating or a variety of topics, just even brief workshops. So let's get out there and do that. Um, media production is the key. I can speak forever on, on these issues and I'm trying to go quickly, but start locally and find collaborative possibilities with community organizations like museums and libraries. This is a wonderful area. There's so many wonderful institutions here and um, we can support women's film festivals. We've got the up upcoming Athena Film Festival in New York City, February 7th to February 10th at Barnard, and um, community-based efforts are also key. And I emphasize, again, starting early with young children and staying local, joining or starting programs that connect students to community, um, to their community and creating positive social change locally, working with community service agencies. Um, I know we were supposed to have high tops represented today. Are they not here, Hunter? Well, that's too bad because that's a great local organization for uh, local students to work with. And um, there's no reason why students can't offer their expertise, their social media savvy and media literacy, photography skills to these local organizations. Um, another big thing is using our consumer power. They mentioned that in the movie. Women do have 80, we influence 85% of all purchasing decisions and um, using our voting power. We've got about 66% of women voting. I'd like to see that closer to Sweden where they have over 80% of women who vote. Think of the differences we would make if that were the case and getting more young people to vote too. And then lastly, I will suggest getting more boys and men. I look out into the audience. I'm wondering, are there any high school boys here? Did I, does anyone here have a high school or a middle school boy, a son they could have brought today? That's the key. Yes, okay. <laughs> We're all busy. I know that uh, students today are very busy. But let's get the boys and the men here. We need them. This, these are not girls' issues. They can't be girls' issues any longer. And um, equity, equality, and empowerment issues need to be at the front of everything we do, and including the boys and the men.
is the key, I think, too. Thank you.